can I give a few editors, a few politicians, a piece of advice? And I speak as an ex-soldier. Now, when you're in the army, if you're a Scotsman, you're probably called Jock. If you're a Welshman, you're probably called Taffy. And if you're Irishman, you're probably called Paddy. Nobody ever takes offence at it. It's part and part of parcel of being member of the team. It's all about soldiering. You cannot graft on ordinary liberal middle-class dinner table views onto the army. It's a completely different institution. And I would counsel people, particularly Dave Cameron, who couldn't wait to come on television to decry Prince Harry about this innocuous remark in the same way that he couldn't resist stabbing Pat Mercer in the back, one of his own team, when he made a similar, similar sort of comment which meant no harm and everybody knows it means no harm. So this message to Dave Cameron, who turns up on Armistice Day every year with absolutely no medals on his chest whatsoever, before you start talking about an institution, I suggest you learn something about it. In fact, Mr Cameron, a spell in the army wouldn't do you any harm yourself. And before we start plastering the so-called Human Rights Act all over the army, let's think about some of the implications there. It simply doesn't work, so don't let's do it. And incidentally, politicians, Mr Cameron in particular, if you want to come on television on a Sunday and talk about something, there was a post office manager, post manager, murdered, shot down by four gunmen in cold blood a few days ago. I suggest, and editors of the News of the World and other newspapers, that you settle your time on that. I would have said that's rather more in the public interest, wouldn't you, than the sort of silly nonsense that we've had to put up with for the last three days.